Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Sumit and today I'm with my new video in Tableau CRM. And the topic for today video is, I'm going to give you an introduction about one of the very cool feature or one of the very cool update in Tableau CRM in spring 2022, that is repeater widget. So I'm going to demonstrate you how to use a reporter, repeater widget on our Tableau CRM dashboard. So as all of you know that tables, they are everywhere in Salesforce. We can use tables. Tables are, uh, tables are used to organize and present the data clearly, but they are not that flexible or they are not compelling as other type of visualizations we have. And uh, we used to, in, and uh, when we talk about the tables within cells, we have limited options for dis displaying and styling the data. So that's why ta Tableau CRM built a new repeater widget. They, it comes with a new repeater widget, which provides the layout flexibility of dashboard and the styling capabilities of widgets, which is all powered by a query. And that query will work in backend. And uh, just to make sure that the intent of repeater, repeat, repeater widget is not to replace the tables, it just provides a new way of visualizing you, to your tabular data. So instead of presenting the data in a tabular way, it gives more flexibility, it gives more rich visualization to you. It will add rich visualization to your, uh, uh, it will add rich visualization to your tables, to your data. So it, let's have a look how to set up a repeater widget on a dashboard. And in order to do this, what I've done, I have used the sales data set uh, in a dashboard. So I've already added a sales data set and I've already created a query in my dashboard. So let me show you the query first of all, this is my query. And in this query, what I've done, I've created two calculated fields. So the first calculated field is the, for the target sales. And the second calculated query is the target achieved percentage. So target achieved percentage is the actual percentage or actual tar target we have achieved with respect to the target sales in every region. So we are operating in four regions, Central, East, South, and West. So in Central, 50%, East, 67.87%, South, 39.17%, and West, 72.5455% of sales we have achieved. Now let's see how to use this data with the help of a, within a repeater widget. So from where we can get the repeater widget, or how to create a repeater widget on a dashboard. So you can see there's a repeater option, repeater widget option you can find out on the left side of your panel. I just drag and drop the repeater widget and uh, you can, we can just rearrange the repeater widget as we want or we can arrange it later on also. That's not an issue. What we have to do, just drag and drop this query on this repeater widget. And as soon as you drop this query on a repeater widget, it will, re it will take you to the editing repeater content section and we can edit our widget, we can design our widget. Now in this widget, let's suppose I just wanted to say, I just want to display the operating region. We are operating in which region? So I just display a message, select this, and I call as operating region, operating region. And uh, I just add query data, I just select region, operating region center, right? And if we want, we can format this or we can customize this. Formatting can be done. Bold, increase the size if it is needed. And uh, we need to select that actually. Don't forget to select that. Right, operating region is central. Now I just want to set the uh, operating region is central. I just want to set a target sales. So what is the target? So the target we have set one, uh, it's a target of 1 million. So I just select this one. And instead of uh, sum of sales, I just want to display target sales. The target sales is 1 million, shorter number, this is 1 million. And this, I, instead of sum of sales, I just set it as target sales. So we are going to set that we set the target sales for every region. For, in, for every region, we got a target sales. Target sales is 1 million. And now we want to display that what's the actual percentage we have achieved. And we want to present, we want to display the percentage with the help of a God, God chart. So I just drag and drop a chart here. And in this, I just want to display the actual percentage we have achieved. So the calculation we have already done, target achieved percentage, so I drag and drop the target achieved percentage, 50.12%. And I just scroll down, we'll do some formatting. And in range value, I set minimum zero, maximum one. 
maximum one is the half of this you can see the full uh, whatever target we have what the target set the target is about 1 million so i just equivalent to one now you can see we successfully created one design we just we, su we successfully add one uh, content into this which is saying operating region is central target sales is this and this is our what this is our percentage achieved so do we have any proper labels for this so i just select this and i just set title as uh, sales or uh, you can just say target sales and target percent target achieved percent so i just set sales okay i just said that and finally what you have to do we need to click on done if you want to do any for, uh, if you want to do more formatting we have options for formatting we can apply formatting charts we can change we can use this gauge chart or polar gauge or bullet or, or rating i'm going with a flat gauge actually here so gauge is also there but i'm going with a flat gauge right now and uh, finally click on done and now as you can see the 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 purpose of the advantage of using repeater widget is that we do not have to uh, worry about the rest of the region. So as we as I've told you that when we when we get the query, when we stick the when we edit the query, we we got four regions here: central, east, south, and west. And, and now you can see uh, operating region central. When I preview operating region central, if you scroll down, you can see a separate a separate uh, visualization for operating region east, operating region west, operating region south, operating region. West. So basically, what happened? The repeater automatically repeats as per the regions we have based on the region the repeater repeats this is the use of a repeater widget so the repeater widget is useful and using so you not only this we can use repeater widget as a toggle also so that will be going to see in our uh, next in our next video we'll be going to have a look how do we create uh, how do we create a repeater widget and use that repeater widget as a toggle so that's all in today's session. If you have any queries, you can reach out to us on support at the rate eitech1.com. You can directly email me also, sumitgoel4 at the rate gmail.com. You can visit our website, www.eitech1.com. If you require if you require customized training on Salesforce or Tableau CRM, you can reach out on our, on our contact number. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the latest updates on the videos. If you like this video, uh, please do subscribe and press the bell icon and post, give your comments. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye, everyone.